Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have the new jumper T light radio here, and I'm going to show you how to convert the mode from mode one to mode two or mode two to mode one, depending on which mode you are used to. Let's get started. All right, here's the back view of the jumper T light radio, and I have the eight screws removed. I've placed the screws here in the same orientation as the hole, so that I know which hole they belong to. When we open the back lid, we have to be careful because there are wires here. So right now I'm changing the mode from mode 2 to mode 1. But basically it's the same thing, what we're going to do is to remove the spring and transfer it from one side to the other side. So in my case for I got a mode 2 radio, so the spring is here. So I'm going to remove the spring and then I'm going to transfer it to this side. And for this side here, there's no spring, but there's this metal that applies pressure. So I'm going to transfer this metal over to the other side. Here's a close up of how it works. Basically, when I move the stick, you can see that. The spring is extended. I'm going to move this stick down. So there's a seesaw mechanism. Something like a seesaw here. This whole piece of plastic needs to be removed from here and transferred to the recession here. It looks like there's only one screw that is holding it in place which is this screw here so let me remove this screw remove the spring and the plastic seesaw well it turns out that removing that single screw isn't enough because the seesaw mechanism is still stuck under this big piece of plastic pivot so what I've done here is I've removed four screws and now we could see the bearings and hopefully I could remove the whole compartment out carefully yep and now we could have access to that seesaw over there it's hard to do this on camera so I'll be right back finally we've gotten the seesaw mechanism out and now there's no spring it's going downward because of the weight of the magnet for the Hall effect sensor so it's time to put the retainer which is this piece of metal right here you have to, have to make sure it's not getting it's not clipping onto the wire. All right, that's done, and now we have the throttle stick moving smoothly, and it doesn't free fall by itself. And finally, we have the mod completed, at least for the mechanical portion. So we have the springs, and this side there's no spring, but there's a retainer applying pressure. In order to change the mode of the controller, press and hold down the sys button. And you arrive at the tools menu. Now press the menu button twice. And you arrive at the radio setup page. Next, scroll down using the down button. We are looking for the mode selection. Keep on scrolling until you see the correct mode settings. There are other settings here which are also called mode but we are looking for the mode setting of the controller and this is it as you can see besides the mode selection is indicating the controls rudder, elevator and so forth which correspond to the mode selection to change the current mode press the enter key and now we could toggle the different modes by pressing up or down button. There's mode 1, 2 and 3. 
but I'll be using mode 1. So I'm going to save my selection by hitting the enter key again. And that's it. You could then press the return key to get out of this menu. Instead of using this stick to drive the car back and forth using elevator, my elevator is this stick. So I can drive it forward and I can drive it backwards. Yep, so this is a good indication that both sticks are working because in this mode I have to use both sticks. Alright, that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.